Hey, hey, hey. Okay, back with some more Saga 3. I haven't played in so long. I kind of miss it. But I like I think it's cool how it shows like the story so far and then our current objective. That's kind of nice. Immediately loading into the game. Okay, um let's see what's in Okay, we gotta go this way. Yeah, I miss Zero Saga. I wanna I wanna start playing some more Zero Saga. Oh, it's it's tough because there's so many different types of videos. This like all these different videos I wanna make. But it's hard to choose whether I should make those videos or play Xeno Saga. Because my, you know, what I was thinking of doing was just like, like finally finishing Xeno Saga, playing through all of Xeno Saga, finish that, and then I can like get on to the big videos I want to make. But I also don't know how long it's going to take to finish Xeno Saga, so. Welcome back, Chief. I'm glad everyone is looking well. Too bad about what happened down there. Well, considering what she was fighting, I think she did a pretty good job. Yes, you're right. By the way, could you stop calling me Chief? I don't work here anymore. No matter where you go or what you become, you're still our dear Chief. Right, Chief Ridgely? Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, God. Where's Cosmos? Yeah, where is Como? She got beat up pretty badly, so she's undergoing maintenance. Version 4? Is this where you see version 4? Cosmos, you're still doing your best. But what am I doing? What would you think of me if you saw me now? Chief. Mm -hmm. I guess you're concerned about Cosmos. Oh, it's not that. I... After seeing Cosmos and everyone, I just feel like you've all left me behind. That's all. Chief. I'm sorry, I think I'll be going. Thanks for everything today. Why is she on? Chief, um, tomorrow. Hmm? T tomorrow? Uh, would you like to go out for a bite in the city? I found this great restaurant the other day and... Sure, sounds good. Yeah, I figured you'd be busy. And well, maybe next time. I said sure. Uh, what? Yeah, he was he was he was prepared for a rejection. Really? He was expecting her to say no. Yeah, when would be a good time? I'm free all day. Ah, uh, um, okay. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. What little move he's doing? I'll come get you. Okay, I'll be waiting. Thank you. See you then. Good night. Good night. Good night. My guy, Alan, getting it in. My guy, Alan, getting it in. Excuse me. What's man tell? Is this the Cosmos maintenance room? It's smaller scale than I expected. Fuck off, bitch. Special Advisor Roth Mantell? Why are you here? Did you come to gloat to the losers? Calm down, Tagashi. I apologize. What can we do for you? Oh, that's quite all right. What he said isn't exactly wrong. <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, exactly. I came here to finish off the losers. The losers? I need you to gather your things together at once. Wait a minute. What about Cosmos's repairs? There's no need. Cosmos will never awaken again. What are you talking? 
This will explain it. Telos? Oh, this is where we find out where they're discontinuing Cosmos what? for Telos. Decision to dispose of Cosmos? Yeah, that part. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? It's exactly what it says. The subcommittee voted on the decision a short while ago. There is no need for us to waste our resources. So we're pouring it all into Telos's development. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid she's going to be scrapped. I can't believe it. How could they scrap Cosmos? I really like the UI of this game. I think I've already said that before, but I really do like the UI of this game and just the whole overall just UI design. It's like the blue turquoise-ish theme going on. It's so good. Let's see, I suppose I return to the hotel for now. I still can't go that way. All right. Is there like the any side contact I can do here? Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. I don't know how loud this is. I don't know if I need to turn it down. I mean, my TV's pretty goddamn loud. But if I turn it down like that, then I can barely hear it. Okay. Uh, wait, how far can we like go out? This map is pretty huge. I think Jerusalem's pretty. Like, do we even come to any of these areas later on? Okay, that's the uh, space elevator. Like the skyport or whatever. Okay, do we ever like get to go way the hell out there at some point? I mean, I doubt, but maybe. Right, let's go back to Mobius Hotel for now. I don't. I don't remember where is that. I want to go through the north entrance. I think it's down. No, it's. Is it down here? Oh well. Oh, it's just right here. Yeah, this is the north entrance, even though it's on the west side. That makes no sense. Yeah, the hotel's like right here. Right. Right. Like this hotel area. Like the the, the, the blue color is nice. I didn't expect there to actually be items in here. Since, you know, we're in a hotel, why would there be items in here? Or even destroyable objects like that. Wait! Oh, no, never mind. I'd say, doesn't so, Cosmos this is the footage or from the T -weapon demonstration? Shion have to meet up with Chaos? You've got guts recording secret government information right out in the open. I bet you could earn a pretty penny if you became a GNN reporter. Stop joking and take a look at it. Do you think you can extract any data from this footage? Not right away. I'll need some time. Please try. This T weapon and an unknown developer are the core of the government's project. I'm sure we can find all sorts of things once we start poking around. So, you think Vector is involved in this as well? But they cancelled Cosmos's development, right? Aren't they being a little roundabout? True, but the way Telos looks, I can't believe Vector isn't involved. Something we know nothing about is happening quickly. Wait. Is Telos... Is Telos made by Hyams? Oh, whoa, wait a second. All right. Is Telos to made us. by Hyams? Also, there was something interesting in the data from the other day. Is it information about my father? No, we uh, haven't found that yet. But we did find a keyword. Kanan. Kanan? Kanan? You mean that Kanan? No, not the Realian. 
We think it's the name of some program or system used for observation or investigation. Why was the reality named after? Kanan. We don't have the details on its objective, but one thing is clear. Vector has been using this Kanan for over 100 years to search something. Can you find out some more about it? Yeah, but like somehow connected to we the can, event? But it'll cost extra. What? You're going to charge for it? <laughs> Just kidding. It may have something to do with that realion, so it's on the house. Wait a minute, what is happening? What's going on? <gasps> Nephilim! Nephilim, what is it? Trying to protect someone does not always lead to happiness. Bro. What? Trying to protect Cosmos. But if she does that. Only wanted to find me. Come on. But that made a great many people suffer. With him gone, the Gnosis phenomenon should have stopped expanding. But it didn't. She oh. the Gnosis phenomenon happening now is not caused by Lemageton. Not being caused by Lemageton. Oh. Wait. Wait. So is Wilhelm like you know perpetuating the gnosis phenomenon because grimoire were using lemagetin to you know facilitate the gnosis attacks so did wilhelm take over and he's or wilhelm pronouncing it wrong does did wilhelm take over and now he's like taking over in grimoire's place because there's no way wilhelm didn't know about grimoire in the umn facilitating those gnosis attacks so does this all aligned with my little theory, my headcanon, that Wilhelm is responsible for the Gnosis attacks at like what them existing in the first place, and now he's like, you know, continuing what Grimoire started. Like, I got a whole video on how our headcanon, you know, a New Zealand intelligence video about how Wilhelm is a wave existence. It's just headcanon and not actually true, or don't believe it, but. It's kind of cool, but some details do kind of make sense if you look into a it a little bit. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. It's fucking Wilhelm. I know it, bro. He has to be behind this. Wilhelm is behind everything. There's no way he's not. It has to be him. He has to be doing all this. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. Who else could it be? Cosmos? No. Why would Cosmos be doing that? It's not Shion. It, uh, it's not like Ormus or you take Vector none of that Vector Wilhelm whatever Vector or Ormus and none of that I don't think they're big enough to like control the universe the only person that could really make sense is Wilhelm because we know almost nothing about him he's very mysterious and shit and I do, I do know a couple things about him that you know we haven't gotten to in the story yet but not not too too much so Bro, it has to be Wilhelm. There's no way. It's not Udu. It's not Udu. Because, like, he's in the upper domain, so I don't think he can really manipulate the lower domain. It has to be Wilhelm. Destroy the universe? Who, Who would, would do, do that? that? Wilhelm, because... Oh, I don't want to spoil. A spoiled. individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. That individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. Who fits that? Because we don't know what Wilhelm's done, if it is him. A sad individual who can this for his own atonement. I mean, Klaus? I mean, if it's Klaus and Xenoblade, but that's not Klaus. He's not in this game. So. Um, bro, my, my fucking mind is racing right now. Who could, who are the, who is she talking about? Why is Nuffle boy so damn cryptic? He hopes for happiness of the one important to him. But that will bring suffering to many. He hopes for happiness of the one important to him. So... Is it chaos? Wait, is it chaos? Cause... Cosmos is important to him because... Spoilers! But... Oh wait, is it chaos? No, it's Atonement? gotta be Wilhelm. Important to him? Atonement, yeah, so, much, so they obviously did some fuck shit. To like protect the one important to him and then that brought suffering to some you know some people and i was atoning for that sin that he had committed 
Retribution from on high. It's Klaus, bro. It has to be. Like, it's yes. perfectly describing Klaus. For that person who is important to him. He feels it is acceptable to throw away this world. Uh, who's trying to destroy the universe? It's gotta be Wilhelm, because, like, everything kind of just points to him. All this cryptic, mysterious-ass shit kind of just falls in line with Wilhelm. We know almost nothing about him, so this could all fit. And he's, like, a really shady CEO of Vector. He runs Vector, and then all this... So, like, he kind of oversees everything with the UMN, Grimoire, the Gnosis attacks, terrorism... Amagaton, all that. He knew all that was happening and he decided not to say anything. And then here comes Telos, where no one knows where he, she came from. She also, Vector's Wilhelm, obviously involved. What is happening? Why, why is Shion, running? The only one who knows where we are headed is Cosmos. Is Cosmos. And that's, oh, I don't want to spoil. I know why, but like, I don't want to spoil. Cosmos's heart is it's you. Yes, and that's so also, please. I know why, but again, spoilers. Wait. And I know most of you already know this, but like for the very few people who are like watching along, like going along with me, I don't want to spoil shit yet. I don't know very Not much gonna... about this game. I know a couple of things. So these spoiler things don't think, oh, you know, you know, I'm just pretending to be blind. But like I'm most of this playthrough is blind. I know a couple things about a couple characters that we haven't gotten to yet. But I don't know a whole ton about the story of this game. Cosmos so a lot most like a lot most of this game, like ninety-eight percent of this is me going in blind. So these are genuine reactions. I'm not faking shit. I, I don't fake reactions. I hate that. So anytime I pop off or be confused or whatever, it's genuine. These are real reactions. I'm not putting on a front. Yeah, see, she's, oh, she's talking to chaos. So like, I know. Yes, you are. Yes, you the are. Truth is too hard for Shion right now. That she is. If she let it dot, pass dot. without knowing, it would be so much easier. I know what they're talking about. Learning the truth doesn't always lead to happiness. I think I know what they're talking about, but they might no even spoilers. be better off if they live without it. But sometimes. The truth seeks you out. And listening in the background, the music is kind of like a remix of maybe tomorrow, like the main ending theme of this game, and it's in the title I screen too. I think the fact that Shion is here is telling us that she must learn the truth. Maybe so, but it's only a matter of time before Shion's heart and body are. What if that's inevitable? My existence and yours may be an inevitable part of this world where all things flow to a certain point. If our reason for existing is that we are meant to exist... I don't think there's only a single future. A single human thought can change the world. Uh, You're the one who taught people that. I know about all that. What I can do is limited. Well, I mean... Kinda true, but tough. I still don't even know how I should use this power. Power of not spoiling. Why am I allowed to exist? Chaos. I want to believe in the existence of order born from discord. That's why I'm with them. I've always like oh I mean like I like this little this little like interaction that There's scene right there with in chaos the and uh this man called Rothman Nephilim. like at least like the setting is nice and the data i checked vector as well to be sure but there was no information on him at all i'm sure dimitri's done that as well but why is he placed him at the core of the project now perhaps that's just how attractive the t-weapon system is it's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. Yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. I also have information regarding the Elsa. Oh? In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. Phase transfer cannon on Omega? That's, That's a not lot of power. Out. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. And besides, 
Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. You mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. Uh -oh. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. Cosmos? Another weapon? Wait, wait, I'm gonna try to guess. I'm gonna try to guess. Cause you just said a face trans cans and omega. Not doing that. So non-federation technology. Well, I mean, because Omega with fake phase transfer can would be stronger than Telos with the phase. Right? And you can't just use the Zohar because I mean I don't know. Is it the Zohar? Cosmos's tertiary weapons. I, I just said I just said it's not Cosmos. I was like, wait, what if it's Cosmos? But like, nah, Cosmos isn't strong enough. And then fucking Cosmos. So I mean, I, it is Cosmos. She is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Cosmos is already slated for disposal, so it's just as unlikely as your first suggestion. I was thinking too big scale. I thought Cosmos was strong enough, like Omega with a phase transfer cannon. Like Omega seems stronger than Cosmos. Omega with a phase transfer cannon would be a lot stronger than Cosmos with a phase transfer cannon. But is this is where you get version four. Let's go. Let's go. How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And I steal that her. Of space? We can steal her. With all due respect, you are the one who was unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean... The old Cosmos? Yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. Yeah, if she's getting scrapped and thrown out, why can't we just, like, have her? Since she's, like, trash now and doesn't really belong so to anybody, you. doesn't really matter. I shouldn't really care who has her now, right? Or maybe I'm thinking too... I was designed to something away for anyone such can objectives. basically have it at that point. But Cosmos isn't just any regular piece of garbage. What did you say? Ormus. I said to abandon it. Did you not hear my words? Did you not hear my words? Heinlein, why does he sound like Pardon that? Pardon my words, but Omega was originally ours. How can we abandon it? Your Eminence, please order its recovery. There is no need. There is no need. I'm so damn please, goofy. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. It's so hard to say goodbye. I did not understand our goodbye. retreat at Ren Le Chateau. And now this. Please, tell me your thoughts, Your Eminence. Omega mm. has returned to its rightful master. Abel? And I have already taken measures to deal with the Zohar project. How to play Zito gear so bad? There is no need for you to interject, Chief Inquisitor. Its rightful master? Are you saying that it did not belong to us? That's the first I've heard of it. In fact, 15 years ago on Milsha, I... Know your place, Smargulus. Do you intend to let your desire overcome you and destroy your faith like Sergius? N no, of course not, Your Eminence. My apologies. You sound tired, Margulis. Rest for a while. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Eminence. Margulis, everything is God's will. There is no need for concern. Udo's will? Do not question. Do as I say, and all will be well. Why does he sound like that? Are you gonna give respect to someone who sounds like that? He sounds so goofy. <laughs> the way he talks does not command all authority or respect. He's like, get the fuck out of here, Dale. Good. This spiral cobweb will capture her heart. And when it does, she will willingly wrap its threads around herself in order to find the truth. 
Why do humans insist on searching? The human mind holds limitless potential. If they continue to seek and search, they shall eventually become gods. They'll become as gods. So like near automata type That's shit. That's probably what they believe. What we can do is limited. Or automata. For precisely that I reason, always forget how to we pronounce. need a world that is fitting for us. We can do is limited for precisely that reason. We need a world. That and we are the only ones who can accomplish. It that. is Wilhelm who wants to destroy the universe. It's got to be him, bro. There's no way it's not him. Dreams, future, possibilities. She was born to put an end to these fleeting illusions. Como? Everything follows the destined flow. Yeah, bro, he's behind everything. It's all Wilhelm. It's all Wilhelm. How am I supposed to explain this to the chief? There's no way I can tell her that Cosmos has been slated for disposal. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna flip her shit. Julie. It's dangerous to get lost in thought while walking. What? Oh, uh, committee member Mizrahi. Can I do something for you? We're gonna steal Cosmos. Can I speak to you for a moment, Chief Ridgely? Sure. What is it? I want you to get in touch with Xion soon. Do you know her personal contact information? Of course she does. Sure, that's no problem. But what's going on? They've decided to dispose of Cosmos, correct? I need to speak to her about that. I'd like you to come along as well, of course. Oh. That's right. Of course you'd know about that. Actually, I was just trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell her about Cosmos. Relax. I won't let them dispose of Cosmos. That's what we're going to talk about. Huh? You finna steal her back. You gotta steal Cosmos back. I watched that footage. It's certainly astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, he's probably dirty as hell deep down. You who, Roth hey, Mantel? Is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions. In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Wait, well, does Doctus already ago, know? A Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams company. I fucking knew Docked it. Fifth Jerusalem's 47th port. Hyams has something to do with Telos. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. Lines? But at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. Oh wait. What's that like twenty one point twenty one tons? How what 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 how much is that? I don't the know. Has a regular crew I can't of get three. Right. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. Cosmos was in, in other there. words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Wait, Como was dropped off at fifth tree. Normally any cargo unloaded into the container terminal. Even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There was no record. Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm, it depends on the type of frame she's using, but <sighs> probably around 200 kilograms. That... it... <gasps> there was Cosmos! That may be the missing piece, assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. 
Then Ormus is involved in Telos's development? Wait, Ormus? Oh, wait, yeah, because Hyams. But why would they do that? Who knows? But it's disturbingly obvious. Wait, so does that just confirm that Telos is made by Hyams? Because Hyams is like another like industry like vector, but associated with Utic and Ormus and all that. So does did that just pseudo confirm that Telos was created by Hyams? And you know, um uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh oh, as, uh, I don't I don't I don't know. Assuming, you know, Telos was created by Iams and specifically Heinlein. I I don't know. I can't the word starts with a P. I don't know what I'm looking for, but they may be deliberately drawing attention sure to it to cover it later. up something else. What's up? Hey, you guys already started. You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha. Xion, we've pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Yes, I have to know the truth. I want to know. This record is in regards to the Utic organization 15 years ago. 15 years. That was back during the uh, Milsha conflict. Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. That's the name of the government office that was observing Utic at the time. Yes. And the person who was appointed to Milsha as a Federation government's inspector was... Her dad. Uh... Stuo Uzuki. I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the Utic organization inspector. He must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. But that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. True. This sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? Incompetent. What kind of example is that? <laughs> it, uh, I mean... I mean, she's not wrong. Hop off, Miyuki. Leave her alone. It's okay. Don't He's worry crying. about it. I suspected it all along. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat, like you said, he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. Ugh. <sighs> I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Xion. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Damn, she what? Oh, it's from Alan. That's why she started working with Vector in the first place? Is that what she was gonna say? I'll take it over here. Or why she went into, you know, Arsnova. Or not Arsnova, but... You know, the whole like, fuck, what is the word I'm looking for? Because cause she went and looked into the whole thing with Almadel and Nephilim and all that, Lemagetin, whatever. I don't remember. Sh Shit. Shion. Shion. Everyone say Shion. Hello. Huh? Shion. Chief, what's wrong? Shion. You having like another Udu Chief? moment? Are you alright? Chief! Like, what is this whole like Udu thing about? Like, well, why did Udu contact her? How did Udu contact her? Alan. Are you alright, Chief? You scared me. You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Well, I was the closest. I see. Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. Yeah, yeah, let's go, Alan. <laughs> Want something to drink? 
I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. Have you been pushing yourself lately? Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened today, I'm sure that's the reason. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Ms. Rahi. From Yuli? Yuli. Yes. She says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. Oh, but tomorrow we were... Ah, it's okay. Talking with member Mizrahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plans. <laughs> we don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan? Let's go out for a bit. What? Right now. Sure, if you like, that's fine with me. Right now, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh shit, gameplay. Is this like our first bit of gameplay this whole episode? No, no. Yeah, because we're at the testing ground. How long was that? Damn. What was that? Like 30, 35 minutes? Something, something like that, 36 minutes of just like scrape cutscenes. <laughs> this game has a lot of cutscenes. It has a lot of cutscenes. I mean, I'm not complaining. We're getting, you know, the best part of the game, the story. So. Mm, it feels good out here. I love the night air. Yes, this area is under environmental protection. So yes. There's a lot of trees and plants. I'm sorry about our dinner plans for tomorrow. God damn. I didn't mean to substitute it like this. Please don't worry about it. The location wasn't important to me. As long as he's with you. Anyway. This kind of atmosphere yeah, I know. Is much I pull that kind of shit too. I don't care where we are as long as I'm with you, type shit. Oh, that romantic atmosphere? shit. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Nah, don't. Ow, hot, hot. Don't push oh. out. Oh, s sorry. It's all right. We almost wasted a magnificent Oops. dinner. Magnificent is just prosciutto. Magnificent? It's just prosciutto. Come on, a single thought can change, change the, the world. world. Prosciutto sounds like a pretty bougie word, so I'd say it's magnificent. Even fast food can become an elegant dinner. Oh. Huh? I just had deja vu. Kevin used to like eating outside too. I don't Did think Ellen together with him a lot. All that. Yeah. I was new, so he always treated me. Oh. Okay. Uh, Ellen ain't trying to hear all that, but now he's got to compete with Kevin, who's not even there anymore. <laughs> Shion still got feelings for Kevin. Fuck boy Kevin. How long do you intend to hide there? What? Talk to. I like this. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised I can't sneak up on you. Or invisible, what do you want? not it. I'll cut to the chase. Who are you? I believe I gave you my personal data some time ago. I'm not interested in that painted over information. I want to know what you were originally made for. What are you talking about? Oh, are you going to pretend you don't know? Program Canaan, a surveillance program listed in the records of top secret vector data. 
It's programmed into your mind. Program Kanan? You're bluffing. That keyword doesn't exist in my database. Are you going to play dumb? What is it you're trying to hide so badly? Wait. Hold on. I really don't know. I was about to say, I believe him. There really is a program with that name? So, they kept its functionality secret even from yourself. All right, I'll believe you. What's this? It's partial data on program Kanan we obtained from Vector. If you want to confirm its validity, you'll have to do it yourself. Sorry for all the noise, I gotta adjust my mic. I'm trying to lean back in my chair. It's starting to get uncomfortable. Oh, and one warning. Even if you weren't aware of the program's existence, it still affects your behavior. If you interfere with us, even if it isn't by your own will, we won't hesitate to eliminate you. Keep that in mind. Dot, dot, dot. Sean. Wake up, Sean. Looks like it's about time. I'd better hurry to the spaceport. All right. Um, I don't know if I should end it off here. We're at 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'll end it here because I don't know how long the next episode is going to be. Or how long these next set of cutscenes are going to be. And we'll just pick up right, you know, right after. We'll pick up right after this. Like, I'm just going to start recording again. So, uh, yeah, no outro because I don't really feel like doing it. And I don't know. It may be too long. You know, just like, get over it. But, uh, yeah, so next episode